would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of basic electrical engineering. In this session, I am going to discuss A to Z information about synchronous motor in a brief and a simple fashion. So at the end of the session, you will understand what is synchronous motor, how does it work, what about the construction, and what is the meaning of synchronous speed, then key features of synchronous motor, simple analogy for the students to understand what is the meaning of synchronous speed and uh, synchronous motor, what is the use of synchronous motor, and at, at the end of the session, I am going to discuss about the application. Moving on to the discussion, we will understand what is a synchronous motor. So basically, synchronous motor is an AC machine or AC motor. So that will rotate at the constant speed irrespective of the load. Regardless of load, it will rotate at constant speed. That's a peculiarity of synchronous speed. The construction of synchronous motor will be same as that of alternator. The speed of the motor is synchronized. That will be with the speed of rotating magnetic field. I mean, uh, the the speed of the rotor will be 100% equal to the rotating magnetic field. Rotor speed and the rotating magnetic field will be uh, equal. That will be locking will be done in the case of synchronous motor. Where in the induction motor, there will be always a difference between uh, the rotating magnetic field and the speed of rotor. But here it is not like that. Both will be same. That is a major thing you need to understand. By the way, we will be discussing the further important details of synchronous motor. Let me ask you, how does synchronous motor work. First of all, I would like to introduce the stator, which is the outer part. You know that stator is supplied with the three phase uh, like AC current. You know, synchronous motor that will convert electrical energy into mechanical energy, correct? So, electrical will be the input. So, the three phase AC that is going to apply the stator, uh, what does it like uh, create? It will create a rotating magnetic field. You can calculate the rotating magnetic field by using the formula 120F by P. By the way, the second component is called a rotor, which is available in, inside. So, what you can do is, you will be providing a DC current at the rotor. By providing an external supply, we are going to provide the, uh, like, a supply to the rotor. Therefore, that rotor, that become electromagnet. So, the thing is, the rotor lock with respect to the rotating magnetic field. The speed of rotor and the rotating magnetic field is getting locked. There will be locking that will be happening. So, that both will be at the same speed. The rotor and the speed of uh, uh, like rotating magnetic field falls under the same speed. So, there, uh, there, there won't be, it doesn't chase any rotating field like induction motor. It will directly lock, locking will be happening. Locking in the sense, the speed of rotor and the, see, like the speed of rotating magnetic field, the speed will be locking at a spot. That's a major peculiarity of uh, the synchronous motor. So, that point you have to understand. It is one of the most interview question. You may get in lab by by as well, laboratory by by. How about the construction of uh, synchronous motor. I would like to show you the component of synchronous motor first of all. So, as I told you that we have the stator. You can see the stator uh, which produce the rotating magnetic field. You can see the stator part. Stator is also constructed with the stator winding. The second one is known as rotor which is available inside. You can see the uh, rotor side. So, here uh, we have a salient pole rotor. We, uh, depends on the like uh, like a type of rotor. There are two types of uh, synchronous motor. Salient pole synchronous motor and non-salient pole synchronous motor. So, the same point uh, which is concerning with respect to alternator can be taken for this aspects. The construction wise, it will be same only. So, here you can see the salient pole. It's a projecting pole type rotor. So, moreover, we are going to provide a DC supply at the rotor because uh, it has to create an uh, electromagnet. Also, the... Uh, the rotor speed and the the rotating magnetic field speed should be locked. Speed of rotating magnetic field and speed of rotor should be locked. That's it. That's what we are going to provide the external DC supply. Another one is called the excitor that supply the DC to the rotor winding so that uh, it become electromagnet. The rotor become electromagnet. So the peculiarity of slippering. The you can see the slippering. It transfer DC from external source to the rotor. Also we have the damper winding uh, which. Uh, helps in starting. Okay, starting is a major challenge. So, damper winding support for the starting and it minimizes the oscillations. So, these are the brief information about uh, the construction of synchronous motor. Okay, please be aware about the components, why it is required and what is the use of field winding. Here you can see the field winding at the rotor and you can see the three phase stator segment. We have, we are going to provide the input as three phase supply and we have stator winding and uh, the rotor, uh, there are two types of rotor. One is salient pole rotor, other one is non-salient pole rotor. What is synchronous speed? Synchronous speed is nothing but uh, like uh, the speed of the stator magnetic field. That is called the synchronous speed. 
formula you can use 120 f by p where f is the supply frequency where p is the number of poles now we'll be discussing about the key features uh, now you can see the important features of uh, synchronous motor like uh, it's a constant speed power source is ac three phase ac at the stator where we are going to provide dc supply at the rotor also you, you must have seen that and starting we need an extra help so that's what we are going to provide the damper winding it is used in the clocks then synchronous condensers for improving the power factor and the industrial drive these are the typical applications of uh, three phase uh, synchronous motor now there is a comparison analogy for example imagine you and your friends are skipping a rope in the case of induction motor you are always trying to catch up uh, to turning the rope that will be happening for induction motor but in the case of uh, syn uh, synchronous motor you jump exactly in the synchronous with the rope and you are catch hold of that that is a difference between uh, like induction motor and the synchronous motor please do understand in the first case uh, there will be always you are trying to run with that particular uh, rope which is running by your friend but uh, the second case you are directly catching the speed of the rotor uh, where your friend is running correct that docking will be happening in the second case so purpose why synchronous motors like uh, speed is constant it is mainly suitable for the precise machine especially like the clock and also you can improve the power factor that is called a synchronous condenser if the power factor is improved you can reduce the losses and thereby saving the electricity also it is suitable in the big industries and power system these are the major concern why you are going for a typical synchronous motor so there are so many applications as you can see synchronous condensers in the power plant for improving the power factor uh, the industrial mills where you require especially paper industries we require constant speed also the clocks and timers will be mainly depending on the synchronous motors and the paper and textile industries definitely we require a constant speed even it can be suitable for servo servo drives so let us conclude the session in this session i have given the outline of synchronous motor and i try to convince you the import the exact meaning of synchronous motor so it runs at the constant speed that's what it is called a synchronous motor uh, it ensure high efficiency and used in the critical loads and the precise operations Synchronous motors are like the perfectionist in the electrical engineering. So that is also one of the remarkable point which you have to say about a uh, synchronous motor. The construction by synchronous motor and the alternator will be almost closer, almost similar that we can say. Thank you very much for watching this video. I made an entire conclusion about synchronous motor in this session. So if you have any further discussion, I request you to use the comment box and I'm going to reply. Even you can mail me, I can directly reach with you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning. Have a great day. Thank you.